Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be unboxing the Super Mario Jenga, released November 2020. Uh, it's by Hasbro Gaming and, you know, a collaboration with Nintendo. They've been doing a lot of these sort of board games in the last few years. Uh, it's for ages 8 and plus and 2 to 4 players. Uh, it says, race up the tower to battle Bowser. And then we have the characters on the sides. Then on the back here, we have some instructions and stuff. So, defeat Bowser and reach the top. Spin and attack. Collect coins. Battle Bowser. The contents are 45 plastic Jenga box. Sorry, blocks. Um, stacking sleeve. Four character pegs. Four character cards. Spinner with plastic arrow and base. Bowser figure. And uh, we have 34 cardboard coins and the game rules and yeah there's the bottom and the top let's go ahead cut it open pull out all the contents um quite expensive it's 50 australian dollars from eb games australia um where did i put that there it is okay so let's carefully pop the top and slide it out i guess That's everything out of the box. So we have a bunch of coins. We have the Bowser figure. We have the instruction manual. We'll have another quick look at that in a moment. We have our stacking sleeve, I guess. We have the character cards, so, Mario, I'm guessing, maybe not, okay, so the blocks themselves will have icons on them, either a mushroom star, pal, uh, question block or Goomba and then whatever it corresponds to is whatever happens based on your character card Back is just nice and simple. We have the spinner which requires some assembly um, Where is that there it is Slide that stuff out. So we have Luigi, Mario, Toad, and Peach. We all have weird little pegs to go in the side of the blocks. Then we have the spinner components. So let's Stick that in there, and that in there. Yeah, looks to spin. Okay, so, all that's left is the actual instructions, and the blocks. So, on your turn, step one is spin. Perform steps two and three in any order, so... Step two is remove and stack, check for special items, and three is climb. Bowser battle once you go over the top by the looks of it. Now watch out because something's gonna happen. Oh, and that's the actual stack and sleeve as well, the other stuff's just packaging. Um, you can see there, some mushrooms and some pals. And let's check out the actual instructions for this. Okay, battle to the top. Race up the tower as Mario, Luigi, Peach, or Toad. Collect coins by stacking blocks, stealing from other players, and defeating Bowser. But watch out, if the tower falls on your turn, you'll lose coins and end the game. You play with the most coins when the tower falls wins. 
Okay. The first time you play, assemble the spinner by pushing the plastic arrow through the spinner card and snapping the arrow into the base. Punch out the coins from their cardboard frame. Step 1. Set up the tower. Turn the blocks over so that the Jenga logos are face up, then mix them up. Okay. Um, randomly place three blocks per layer, alternating direction by layer. Place Bowser at the top of the tower. Use the stacking sleeve as ne excuse me. Use the stacking sleeve if necessary. Place the stacking sleeve where all players can see it. Um, choose your character peg. Insert your peg anywhere in the second layer at the base of the tower. Take your character's card. As you play, refer to this card when you remove blocks with the following special item symbols. <clears throat> and then that shows an explanation, an example. Uh, each player takes one five coin worth five coins. Place the rest of the five coins and the regular coins uh, in a pile next to the tower. The youngest player goes first and moves to the left. Oh, sorry, and play moves to the left. Um, on your turn, spin. The spinner determines four things. How many blocks you must remove and stack, zero, one, or two. If you collect coins from the pile and how many level... Uh, sorry, layers, your character must climb, 0 through to 4. Um, if play continues in the opposite direction after your turn. Okay, yes. Um, step two, 2 and 3 can be performed in any order. Step 2 is stack. Use one hand to remove a block from anywhere below the highest completed layer. You can touch the blocks to see if any are loose. Make sure, sorry, make note of any items on the removed block. See the special items. Then stack it above Bowser. Always complete a layer before starting a new one. Wait for about five seconds. If the tower falls, you must return 10 coins to the pile and the game is over. If the tower does not fall, refer to your character card and perform any special item actions from the block you stacked. Then if you spun... Stack two blocks, stack your second block and refer to your card again to perform any additional actions. You can't stack a block that an opponent character, sorry, you can't stack a block that an opponent's character peg is in. If your own character peg is in the block that you want to stack, either choose a different block or to stack or move your peg up before stacking. You may knock an opponent's character peg out of a hole while you're removing and stacking a different block. Sorry, you may knock. So it's not that you can, but that might happen. If you do, move their peg down a layer to any vacant hole and steal um, one coin from them. Your character peg can't move down lower than the second layer of the tower. And then special items are shown there. Um, then we have Climb. So move your character peg up to the required layer and insert it into a hole on any side of the tower. Wait for five seconds. If the tower falls, your sorry, you must return ten to the pile, and the game is over. Your character must climb all the required layers at once. If your character, sorry, if your opponent's character peg are in the only holes you could climb to, don't move your your character peg carry out the rest of your turn as normal. If you, sp if your spin would take your character peg to the same level as Bowser or higher, insert your peg into any vacant hole on the layer directly below him instead and end your turn. Then on your next turn, you battle Bowser. See battling Bowser. If your character peg reaches the highest layer before anyone else's, it doesn't need to be a completed layer, collect 10 coins. You can then stack blocks as normal, but you can't, sorry, but you can only climb if there are enough layers above you to do so by exact count. Uh, so if you have a three and you only have two layers above, you can only go, well, you can't move at all, I believe. Yes. Uh, then end your turn. Once you've stacked blocks, if any, performed any special actions and climbed, if necessary, it's the next player's turn. 
Battling Bowser. To defeat Bowser, you must spin climb 3 or climb 4. You can't move above Bowser or stack any more blocks until you've done this. Once you've spun climb 3 or climb 4, move to the layer directly above Bowser and collect a coin bonus for defeating him. See Bowser bonus. Opponents can't move your peg below Bowser after you've defeated him. Okay. And then it says a bunch of random bits and pieces. So the first player to defeat Bowser gets five coins, the second gets four, the third gets three, and the fourth gets one. Um, did you spin a that or a reverse play while batting Bowser? You can still collect coins and play will switch direction as normal at the end of your turn. And then win. The player who caused the tower to fall must return 10 coins. The player with the highest character receives 5 coins. But if that player made the tower fall, the second highest character collects 5 instead. All players then add up their coins, and the player with the most coins win. So, it seems fairly simple. Spin and climb and do things. So, Bowser would start up up there. And then you go from there okay so that's going to be the end of the video so hopefully i explained it well or at least read it out correctly for the most part um let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this do you think it seems cool plan to buy it and play it let me know uh like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to the channel i do unboxings and video gameplay and other than that like share comment and subscribe until next time Thanks for watching and goodbye.